Hey guys, hope you're all doing really well. Um, today I just wanted to do a little video. Just going through my uh, Black Series collection uh, to date. It is the 25th of July, 20, 2017. And uh, yeah, I just want to basically go through my collection and uh, share it with you guys. And um, as far as I know, there's only five figures so far that I'm still yet to get. Um, there is the four pack of clone troopers from uh, Entertainment Earth and there is the first order specialist TIE pilot that came with the big TIE fighter. Um, still hoping to pick that up at some stage just um, you know they, when they came out the TIE fighter was $400 here and that's now only just getting down to 200 so getting a bit closer to what I'm willing to pay for it. Um, so I thought I'd go through the shelves. I've got a couple others spotted around the room, so we'll, I'll quickly go and have a look at those, and uh, then we'll come back and have a look at my main shelf. All right, so here's my uh, Kylo Ren versus Ray setup. Um, got the Kylo Ren unmasked, the, uh, the version from last year, so as you can see the box in the background. Um, well, he didn't come with the snow pieces. Uh, that was from a different version. But I've actually been able to do the head swap because that Kylo Ren came with the, uh, you know, the weathered sort of soft goods. So been able to put the unmasked head on that on that Kylo Ren figure. Um, it was a pretty tough head swap. Um, so I had to use a lot of boiling hot water, and I was really careful with it, of course. But uh, it's doable. Um, I saw some other folks online had been able to do that as well. So this is a pretty nice little setup. Um, I'm pretty happy with these two figures. And uh, yeah, we'll go have a look at what else I've got. All right, sort of sort of here on my bookshelf, I've got my uh, Darth Revan Black Series. Um, I may end up moving this down with some of the other random characters, such as the Star Wars Rebels characters. Um, just because he doesn't really fit in with the sort of themes that I've got my shelves in on my main Black Series uh, bookshelf. So I've just sort of left him here. Um, lots of little bits and pieces through here, and I just kept the uh, Darth Revan minifig in front of him, so they're just sort of together at this stage. And uh, up here I've got my Boba Fett theme shelf. Um, now these two six inch Fets here, the prototype Boba Fett and a custom Return of the Jedi Fett, they're, they're uh, courtesy of my good friend Fallen Jedi. Um, he was able to help me get that prototype Fett a year or so ago, a couple of years ago when it came out. Um, and that was uh, the Return of the Jedi custom fit was a was a gift when we met at Celebration earlier in the year um, so they definitely take pride of place in the collection and uh, no better spot than a Boba Fett shelf so it's those two alright guys so here's the, the main bookshelf itself It's uh, getting pretty full. I'm hoping to replace the shelves with glass ones very soon. Next time I do a trip to Ikea. Um, minus the middle one, which is that one there. Only because that's part of the main structure. I think you probably can take it out. So I may consider that. Um, but the rest I'd love to replace with glass. And then hopefully get some lighting in there. And um, I'm sure at some stage I'm going to have to expand beyond this. But uh, let's start from the bottom and make our way up. So we come down to the bottom. Got the uh, Rebels characters so far. Looking forward to adding Hera to that. And there's always one that's fallen over. In this case, we've got two that have fallen over. So we've got Han and Luke with the Torn Torn and the Wampa. And they're a little bit down in the dark, so. I'm definitely looking forward to getting a glass shelf, putting down the bottom there at least. Um, that way those figures are a little bit more in the light and you can see them a little bit better. Second shelf up is sort of a prequel shelf at the moment. Um, so we've got Darth Maul, Qui-Gon, some episode two stuff. There's a clone that's fallen down in the back. The new Gree, which is really good. Anakin, Obi-Wan, Cody, Clone Trooper, and uh, I need to get that four pack so I can put those clones up behind them. So now we've got a bit of a uh, original trilogy, sort of not episode four <laughs> shelf, I guess. So there's the uh, exclusive Jabba the Hutt with the uh, salacious crumb down there in the corner. 
Yoda look. Got the Carbonite Han in the back. The new Lando figure is great. Bespin Luke. And the Bounty Hunters. Moving up to the Empire shelf. Uh, definitely want to get another Royal Guard. So that's the original Vader we got. Some Stormtroopers. The Shock Trooper, which I just got about a week ago, a week and a half ago. Some Sand Troopers. Shadow Squadron, that's the that's the other Vader. And the one with the clear, clear helmet. So that's the Empire. Now we're moving up to a New Hope. So we've got the Obi-Wan's little table in the back there. It's not going to be able to see that, but it's in the corner. Got the 40th anniversary display stand at the back there. Some of the droids. Ben Kenobi, Greedo. I'd like another Jawa or two. I've got three Tusken Raiders, which I'm very happy about. And the main three in the middle, which is which is great. Excuse me. Let's stand up again. Now we move up to Rogue One. So we've got the main five, I'm really hoping Hasbro are planning on doing a Bodhi. Um, I'd love to have Bodhi just standing to the side there, have K2 in the middle. I reckon that'd look great. Um, yeah, I really hope they're planning on doing a Bodhi. The exclusive gin back there. The uh, Edu Cassian. Hover tank pilot. ATATC ATACT driver, Scarif trooper, little crew there, the 40th anniversary Vader, Krennic, two death troopers, and the death trooper specialist. So that's a, one of my favourite shelves. Now we've got my favourite shelf, my first order shelf. So we've got Hux with Kylo Ren there. Two flame troopers. I printed out some first order banners on some red card, red cardboard. So I put them in the back. Now I've got my stormtrooper collection, which I've just started. I've really been trying to army build. Um, so got the trader trooper and the commander. And then I've got twelve standard stormtroopers. Kylo Ren with his hood down. Now we've got a little squad of snow troopers. I'd like to get a couple more. I've got there's a store nearby that's got a couple. I'll just wait for them to get marked down and I'll grab them and I think a nice little squad of six plus the commander would be nice. Two tie pilots. And Captain Phasma. So to be able to get that many stormtroopers I'm I'm pretty happy with. And they look great. Now Force Awakens, good guys, kinda, <laughs> other, good guys and other. Zuvio in the back. It's Poe and the Resistance Trooper. Got a couple of Guavians back there, Guavian Death Gang guys. Asti, Poe with his helmet on so you don't have to see that face. <laughs> BB-8, Finn, Ray, Chewie Han, 3PO. And uh, yeah, I'd like to get another R2, hopefully at some stage. We not look nice up in the corner there. Um, yeah, really looking forward to adding some more to the Force Awakens slash sequel trilogy, um, which is mainly why I moved. I sort of condensed them in, so that side of the shelf, I can add some more heroes when they come out. Um, the Luke and the Ray, the other Ray, and there's the Leia Organa that's coming out, so. That is my Black Series collection, guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Oh, this is also my little tin here that I keep my accessories in. Spare weapons and accessories, lightsabers, hands, bits and pieces like that. So I'll just keep it all together in one spot. If I want to change the display, I can. So again, hope you've enjoyed watching this, guys. Uh, leave a comment below, tell me what you think. I'll see you in the next video. May the force be with you.